Hey Finksters and welcome to this video. So if you if you land on this page very likely you uh, received uh, in your code value error with the message uh, the truth value of an array with more than one element is ambiguous. Use a.any or a.all or um, any other way of uh, of the um, any like variant of this uh, with your specific name of, of your specific array. So how can, how does this er error message happen and how can you resolve it? What, what does it mean? Very quickly in this video I will show I will give you the answer to both of these questions. Okay, so first of all, let's consider the following example. Say we uh, we use NumPy, we import the NumPy library as NP. Now we create a NumPy array from like three integer um, elements. If you print the array, you have the following output, and you and you run the code, then you get obtain the following output: one, two, three. Okay, so we have an array with three elements. Now, say you want to convert this array using the built-in bool function. The built-in bool function is part of uh, Py Python's built-in functions. Uh, I've just recorded a complete course about Python's built-in functions. You can check out the course uh, on the Finkster Computer Science Academy. Um, I will give links in the description below. Um, and if you convert the array A to, like, using the built-in bool function, you convert the array A to, a, to an array B, you kind of expect that the truth value will be aggregated. So you aggregate all these integer elements or other elements in this list type. So in the sequence, which are multiple elements, you aggregate all of them um, into a single um, array. So something like this, yeah? So you, you, you use the bool function. How can you, so if you try this and now try to print B, um, then and you run the code, you get the following error message, value error, the truth value of an array with more than one element is ambiguous. Use a.any or a.all. Okay, so this doesn't work. Uh, so what is the problem here? Um, the problem is that you cannot, like, per default, so what does it mean? What is the, what is the tr truth value of a list? So for example, if you want to, um, so there are, mu there are multiple interpretations of, of, of this exact uh, problem, yeah. So, for example, one way of um, understanding this conversion uh, is to to basically check whether all elements in the list evaluate to true. Yeah. If this is if this is your goal, so you simply want to check whether all elements um, evaluate to true, then you can do the following. So you can use um, instead of bool, you use np logical and so you use numpy's logical and function and now you can you can simply do this yeah so you can simply like convert all the elements um, basically and now you can also do some broadcasting for example checking whether whether all elements are smaller than three or, four or so okay so if you do this like this checking a a is an error you compare a uh, a is smaller than three which will create an error of boolean values now you can like uh, do a logical end comparison on this array, okay? And if you do this, you get um, invalid number of argument. Ah, okay. So you need to. We need to have um, multiple arrays, right? Lo mask logical end. So does it work if we just use a? No, this doesn't work. Okay. So what is the reason? P array uh, range small than three. Okay, so we need two arrays, right? Ah, okay. Now, <laughs> sorry, uh, sorry about this. So, um, so you need to, uh, in order to do this, in order to to perform this logical and operation, you you like you need two arrays. For example, say you use like the identical identical arrays and now element wise we compare the first element of both arrays the second element of both arrays and the third element of both arrays okay so we perform logical and element wise and if you do this we obtain an array of uh, boolean values okay and similarly you can also do lo uh, boolean uh, logical or so so say now just for fun we create another array b and p array say um um, zero, 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 and close it. Now we need to call this C, and you print C, and now we do logical and first of all of those. Okay, so now we have two arrays. One array is one to three. The other array is zero, 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 and now we perform logical and uh, computations uh, among both arrays. And so, which means that we compare value one to um, 
So we check one and zero. So one will evaluate to true, zero will evaluate to false. So therefore this and this will evaluate to false. So therefore we will have three different false values in our resulting array. Okay, so you can see it here. And um, if we do the same with or, it will basically result in three Boolean true values. Yeah, because now either one of the elements at position i, uh, I either one of the ith element of both arrays will be evaluated to, to, to true, which is the from the first array, these values will evaluate to true. Um, okay, so, um, so this is one way of like aggregating the truth value of, of an array to just use logical and or logical or um, a, a simpler, even simpler approach to do this is to um, create, so instead of uh, logical and or logical or you can also do the following a equals b, this should work, one, two, three, yeah, okay, so this basically, uh, this would still work, um, but you need to like, um, yeah, I think it, it would work, so you, now you can, for example, um, convert each element in the array to a boolean value now you can use logical um, or basically in this case it will take the first element of the array if it if it is if it all if this first element already evaluates to true and as in python all elements evaluate like out can be automatically and automatically converted to a boolean value um, you um, basically want to uh, so if, if the first element evaluates to true, it will already return the first element, okay, for the logical OR operation, because in this case, no matter what the second element is, this is called short circuiting, and uh, no matter what the se second element is, as in the OR operation, it is enough if, if one element is true. So if the first element is already true, like in our case, the A elements are already true, uh, it re simply returns the first element. So therefore, this will simply return the first um this will simply return the first array, basically, yeah? One, two, three. And now if you change the order B or C, uh, B or A, so now we have uh, B first, so which is a zero, zero, zero element, then it will simply take the second element. So it will check the first one, which evaluates to false, and then it takes the second element of array, uh, second elements of array A, and simply returns those, because if, the first, if in an OR relationship, the first one is already false, it simply returns the second one, because if the second one also evaluates to false, the uh, complete OR, OR operation will be false. If the second one evaluates to true, the um, complete OR operation will also return true. So therefore, um, in both cases, it will simply return uh, the original element, and it will not convert this element to a Boolean value, but it will simply re return the element no matter what. And um, but then there are also two ways of approaching this, two uh, like um, alternatives to approaching this uh, problem, and this is to use the any or the all function, which is also proposed by uh, by NumPy. So if you remember the first example, let's copy the first example we had. Uh, this one. So we have we create an array with three elements. We try to convert it to a Boolean array, but this throws the message, the truth value of an array with more than one element is ambiguous, use a.any or a.all. Uh, I mean, this we can we can easily do, of course. Uh, so if, let's try this, a.any will now uh, return to true. So this is one other way to aggregate the Boolean values of a single um, NumPy array. So for example, in this case, it will simply check if any of those elements evaluates to true. and um, so you can call it on the array. So on the array, it's an array method. You can call any. If any of those elements evaluates to true, it will return true. And in our case, of course, all three elements evaluate to true. So therefore, the result will be true. So um, even like a similar method is all, the all method. And uh, if you use a dot all, it also it returns true if all elements are true or evaluated to true, which is the case uh, in our example. But so w when wouldn't this be the case if one element would be zero, for example, like this? In this case, you see it would, would re the all function returns to uh, um, evaluates to false because uh, at least one element does not evaluate to true, which is the third one. And uh, in contrast, the any function will still return true because 
and like any at least one element will return will evaluate to true so in this case all of them but only if we have like all elements evaluated to false we will get a false as well for the any function okay so this is how you can resolve the uh, this this error message um, the truth the value error the truth value of an array with more than one element is ambiguous and um, yeah you can you have different options you can use logical and logical or if you want to combine two arrays or you can use the all and any function uh, methods of a numpy array to to like aggregate all the values in a single array to to one value Okay, thanks for listening to this video and see you in the next video. Bye.